Alleged mail bomber Caesar Sayoc appeared in court today for the first time, even as mail screeners in Atlanta found yet another explosive device. It was the third bomb addressed to CNN. But most of the targets were individuals, prominent Democrats, including former Attorney General Eric Holder, who sat down with Vice News on Friday before the shootings in Pittsburgh while campaigning in Michigan for Democratic candidates. How you doing, Michigan? All right. Someone tried to assassinate you and other Democrats this week. How did we get here? And what do you think it represents? Well, you know, in the, this particular case, it'll be interesting to see um, what the motivations were uh, of the person who has, uh, who has been arrested. Um, but I think the disturbing thing for me is that it is in some ways a sign of the times. Um, we are a very divided nation. And there are other times in our history when we have been divided, and we'll get through this. Um, but I think, I hope that between, you know, now and the time when we get back to the place where I think we need to be, um, that we can still make progress, um, that people can still feel safe to express their, their views. You recently remarked, when they go low, we kick them. That's what this new Democratic Party when is about. When they go low, we kick them. <laughs> Given the climate, do you think that you need to be more careful about what you say? Well, what I also said at the in that same tape was uh, I'm not advocating for anything that's inappropriate or that is illegal. And what I was trying to say was that, you know, um, when you look at what the Republicans are doing uh, to our democracy in Georgia, um, you know, with those 53,000 uh, registrations that are just sitting on Brian Kemp's desk, when you see what's going on to Native Americans in um, North Dakota, when you see that uh, Republicans in Ohio and Wisconsin are, are purging um, voters, Democrats have got to be tough. You know, we have to stand up for our democracy. We can't simply allow Republicans to do things that undermine the values and the, the processes that make this nation um, exceptional. How much of voter suppression nationwide is powerful people misinterpreting the law? Or how much of it is just really discriminatory law? Well, I don't think it's powerful people misinterpreting the law. I think it's powerful people powerful people putting laws in place that they can use so that they can um, discriminate against people. And I say discriminate, I don't mean that necessarily in, in a racial sense. But discriminate against people in an ideological, in a political way. To look at people who are potentially Democratic voters and keep them away from the polls. The Holder is the chairman of a group called the National Democratic Redistricting Committee that's fighting against Republican-led gerrymandering. The group is supporting Democrats in dozens of races, as well as three ballot initiatives related to fair redistricting. One of Holder's main priorities is Georgia, where Democrat Stacey Abrams is fighting to become the first black female governor in American history. She's running against Brian Kemp, who, as the current Secretary of State, is overseeing the very election he's running in. When you look at the Georgia race, for example, how is what's going on legal? We have Kemp, who is in the race, but also gets to referee the race. Kemp should simply resign as Secretary of State or recuse himself from all issues connected to the very campaign that he is a part of. I mean, this is like, you know, a Lakers game where LeBron James is not only wearing number 23, a Lakers uniform, but he's wearing, he's also the referee. And Kemp can't be both. Holder and other Democrats see the future of fair elections in the fight to redraw district lines in some of the most gerrymandered states in our country. In 2011, Republicans in many states drew those lines in creative ways that cemented Republican majorities. With a name like the National Democratic Redistricting Committee, and then with the knowledge that you were an AG under a Democratic president, do you think it's fair for people to be suspicious that this might be a play for Democrats to just tip the scales in their favor? If I had to look back, I might have renamed this. I might have, might have come up with something other than the NDRC. Um, but I think what people have to look at is that this is really, uh, the way I, I think of it, this is a, a partisan attempt at good government. And I would not have put my name um, on this unless it was really um, focused on that good government uh, aspect. Um, I am for um, a fair system. I don't want to use the, um, the NDRC as, as a vehicle to gerrymander for Democrats. I hope that we're going to be successful. I hope that we'll have a lot of Democrats elected. But if we have um, increased amounts of power, um, I don't want to use it uh, in the way that Republicans have uh, to gerrymander for the Democratic Party. <laughs>